OmniFocus 3.4 brings new features to your iPhone and iPad by taking advantage of some significant new functionality that Apple introduced with iOS and iPadOS 13. We'll start by looking at features that are available on both iPhone and iPad, and we'll wrap up by looking at some very convenient new functionality that's exclusive to the iPad. OmniFocus now supports the system-wide dark mode that was introduced with iOS and iPadOS 13. Since dark mode is currently turned off on this iPad, OmniFocus is using its light theme. There are a few ways to turn dark mode on and off, including changing the setting in the display and brightness section of the settings app. A quicker way is to open up Control Center and long press on the brightness slider. You'll see a button that allows you to toggle dark mode. I'll turn dark mode on by tapping on this button. Notice that OmniFocus automatically switches to dark mode to match the system setting. If you want to make it even more convenient to switch between dark and light mode, you can add a dark mode button to the control center. I'll use this button to turn dark mode off. OmniFocus 3.4 adopts a new contextual menu system that can be accessed by tapping and holding on an item in the sidebar or outline view. The specific options that appear will vary depending on what type of item you select. For example, if I long press on the personal folder in the outline view, I see a list of options that allow me to expand and collapse this folder, to create a new folder or project inside this folder. And since I'm on an iPad, I also have the option to open in new window. We'll look at this feature shortly. If you decide not to take any of these actions, simply tap outside the contextual menu to dismiss it. If you long press on a project, you'll see a list of options that are specific to projects. For example, when I long press on Plan Epic Trip to Ireland, I'm presented with a list of options that make sense for projects. Among other things, I can set a due date of today or tomorrow, defer the project to tomorrow, add a new action to this project, and show this project in the review perspective. I'll tap Go to Project so that I can focus my attention on this upcoming trip. As you might expect, a long press on an action reveals a list of options that make sense for actions. You can cut, copy, and delete the action, assign the forecast tag if you have one defined, and flag and drop the action. As was the case with projects, you can also use the context menu to set the action as due today or tomorrow, and to defer it until tomorrow to take it off today's list of available actions. Since I'd like to prioritize researching flights to Dublin, I'll tap the flag button to give this action more prominence. The inspector has also seen some enhancements in OmniFocus 3.4. Specifically, you can now view and change both the completion date and the drop date in the inspector. I'll change the view setting to all so that you can see everything, including actions that have been completed and dropped. If I tap the completed action at the top of this project, then tap Show More, I'll see that this action was completed on November 15th at 10.19 a.m. Let's say that this conversation actually took place on November 10 at 4 p.m., and I want to make sure that this is reflected in the project. I can simply tap Completed in the inspector and change the date and time. Similarly, if I tap Book Car Rental, I can see that this item was dropped on November 15th at 10.24 a.m. I can change this, uh, if necessary, by tapping on Dropped and choosing a new date and time. Shortcuts is an app provided by Apple that allows you to automate a wide variety of activities on your iPhone and iPad. Shortcuts took a major leap forward in iOS and iPadOS 13, among the new features is support for what's called parameter-based actions. That's just a fancy way of saying that it's much easier and more convenient to create shortcuts that interact with both Apple and third-party apps. OmniFocus 3.4 introduces new actions that make it possible to create shortcuts that interact with OmniFocus in many practical ways. Most notably, there are new ways to get and show the contents of your OmniFocus database. I'll open the Shortcuts app, then tap Create Shortcut to create a new shortcut. If you tap Apps, then OmniFocus, you'll see a list of actions that you can include in your own shortcuts. I'll walk you through a couple of examples to give you a taste of what's possible. First of all, I'll drag Show in OmniFocus into my new shortcut, then tap Type. From here, I can choose to show a project, folder, tag, perspective, or more generally an item in OmniFocus. I'll choose Perspective, 
And now if I tap on Perspective, I'll see a list of my available perspectives. I can either scroll through the list or use the search box to quickly locate the one I'm looking for. I'll tap the Play button to run this shortcut, and I'm taken to the Hot List perspective in OmniFocus. If Hot List is something I access frequently, I could add this shortcut to the home screen for easy access. The shortcut could also be expanded to prompt for a list of commonly used perspectives, tags, and projects, and could even automatically show you the most useful perspectives and tags based on factors such as your current location and the time of day. Let's go back to the Shortcuts app. Let's look at one of the other new actions that OmniFocus 3.4 provides. I'll delete the Show in OmniFocus action and add Find Items in its place. In this case, I want to find a list of available phone calls. I'll tap Remaining and change it to Available, as I'm only interested in items that are currently available. You can further filter this list by tapping Show More. Specifically, you can filter based on projects, tags, the flag status, search terms, and dates. Since all of my phone calls have a tag of phone, I'll choose tags that are any of and choose phone. I can either scroll through the list to find the tag that I'm looking for, or quickly find the phone tag using the search box. I can also customize how this list is sorted, and can place an upper limit on the number of results that appear. If I run this shortcut, I'll see a list of all of my available phone calls in shortcuts and can flip through the results. To make this more useful, I'll add a Choose from List action, and we'll add a prompt of which phone call. I can then show the chosen item in OmniFocus by adding a Show in OmniFocus action. I'll tap Type and choose Item. Then tap Item and use the Magic Variable feature to specify that I want to show the chosen item in OmniFocus. Now let's see this in action. I'll tap Play and we're presented with a list of available phone calls. I'll tap Phone Kevin about flight schools, and we'll be taken to the project that contains this action. This is just a taste of what's possible. We'll be taking a deeper dive into this new functionality and other Learn OmniFocus content. And whether you're brand new to shortcuts or a seasoned user looking to up your game, I highly recommend the Shortcuts Field Guide that was produced by my pal David Sparks. You'll find the link in the notes that accompany this video. And last but not least, I'm excited to show you the multi-window support that was introduced in OmniFocus 3.4. As I mentioned previously, you'll need an iPad to use this feature. One way to use multiple windows is to long press on a folder, project, or tag, then choose Open in New Window. For example, let's say I'm going to be working on a plane and I want to have a separate window showing actions that I've tagged to work on while airborne. I'll go into Tags and we'll long press on the airplane tag. When I tap Open in a new window, a new window opens up showing the airplane tag. I can use the separator bar to control the size of the second window. In the left window, I'll navigate to my custom Today perspective and choose some things to work on. One way to add the airplane tags to items is to drag them into the second window. For example, I'll add Prepare Draft of Agenda to my airplane list by dragging this item. I can go back to only having one window on the screen by dragging the divider bar all the way to the left or right. Another way to display multiple OmniFocus windows simultaneously is to drag a folder, project, or tag to either edge of the screen. I'll go into the Projects perspective and drag the Personal folder to the right edge of the screen. As before, I can interact with OmniFocus using two windows. For example, it can be very helpful to have the Inbox in the left window, and Projects or Tags in the right window. To see all your OmniFocus windows, reveal the dock, and tap OmniFocus. In the upper right corner, you'll see a button to reopen Close Windows, and a plus button to add a new window. And you can close existing windows by swiping up. I hope this gives you a good taste of what's possible in OmniFocus 3.4 for iOS and iPadOS. Many thanks to the talented team at the Omni Group for all the time and energy that they put into this release. 
For a deeper dive into these and many other features and best practices, check out our articles, videos, and live sessions on Learn OmniFocus. This is Tim Stringer from Learn OmniFocus. Thanks for watching.